Hey everyone, it's Kimberly watching Lovely Overload. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, makeup tutorial that can be considered a fresh face or uh, makeup for school, makeup for a first date. Um, it's just good, clean makeup. It looks like you don't really have makeup on. It's pretty much been my everyday look for the summer. Now it's fall and it'll probably be my everyday look for fall whenever I am going out. So let's hop right into it. First things first, I do have on um, some uh, chapstick, a lip balm or whatever to get my lips um, nice and moist. You want to exfoliate of course beforehand before putting that on. So I already did that. Let me take this gum out because last time I made a video with gum, uh, y'all about killed me about it so that's gone. Next you want to uh, have a clean face so that means just wash your face Use a toner, and I'm going to go in with my Hope in a Jar moisturizer, which is about empty. Ew. I just apply this on my face. Mm, not in your hair. Just on your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in your brows. When doing any type of makeup look, if you fill in your brows, you automatically are upgrading your look. It's, 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 it's something that's simple. A simple step to take to get drastic results. So, I'm using my MAC Spiked Eyebrow Pencil. Like I always do. And I mean, I'm not one of those people who have, who has 20, 30, 40 minutes for eyebrows. I like to take this pencil, fill them in, darken them up, or whatever. If you are keeping your eyebrows, um groomed as in getting them threaded getting them waxed razor whatever you do if you're keeping them like that all you have to do is fill it in okay we're not shaving our eyebrows off drawing them back on lining them with concealer we don't ha you don't have to do all that all the time like i mean yeah if you want to ever if you ever feel like oh i just want to be extra fancy i just feel like going above and beyond then go ahead and be my guest or do it whenever you want to do it but i just don't feel like doing that. Um, okay, so I don't. I just take this pencil, follow the way my eyebrows are. I'm not doing any fancy tricks. I'm using light strokes. I mean, that's about it. Excuse me. That's all I'm doing, guys filling in these brows. Alright, that is to my liking. Um, take your finger and run it along to get anything cleaned up. Then I'm going to take this brow gel. This is from e.l.f. It's a little lighter than what I need it to be, so I kind of take it and um, after I've already filled them in, with the darker pencil I take this and I just go over them it gives them dimension because you know your brows shouldn't look like black lines on your face it should look like hair so I think this brings back them looking like hair without it being too light since it's already darker underneath next I'm gonna go ahead and under my eye area with this Cajun cooling uh, liquid powder. This is from MAC. It's part of the permanent collection now. It did come out with the uh, Venom Venomous Villains or whatever it was called. I just take a dirty stippling brush and um, I place this under my eye. Don't ask me why, but I've just been doing it all summer. And um, I always like the end result, so I kind of just do it under my eye. And then I just take the residual on the brush and dust it over the rest of my face a little bit. Now this routine isn't going to work for everyone because some people need their foundation. That's fine. Put your foundation on and then go in with the powders and such. But I just, um, you know, go straight with the powders. Then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in dark. 
and I take that over the rest of my face. Make sure you're getting this in your hairline and your jaw as well. Alright, and then since I'm already with the powders, I'm going to take another mineralized skin finish. And this is in Warm Blend. This is probably not the best thing to do this with, but I've been doing it since I've seen Miss L. Bailey do it. But now thinking it's like just a bit too bronzy but um she on one of her videos contoured with this middle strip right here and so i've been doing it pretty much ever since i've seen her do it <laughs> and i just take that into my um hairline here and under my cheekbone there i don't know Especially with my face being so much rounder in these recent um, months, the contour is pretty important. Then I just take a bigger brush and kind of blend it out as not to have a stark, dirty looking line on your face. Okay, so blend, blend it out. Um, what I've been using all summer is a dolly mix but really lightly kind of on my cheeks mixed with the um ambering rose so we're not going to stray from that today let me take dolly mix and i'll applying this with a very dense brush to really just get the color kind of on there And I like to put it on the temples as well. That weird smile, I'm sorry. I don't want to creep you out. But that's how I be looking sometimes. This is Ampering Rose. And I'm just using a different brush. Um, I think the largeness of this brush gives it a more blended feel. So, uh, yeah, that's why I use that. Sorry, it's a lot of products down here. Next, I'm going to take this Giella I Am Glam Highlighter. And I ordered this from www.giella.com. I take that and highlight my brow. And I'm going to need to blend out the blush. Blend in the blush. So there's not going to be any makeup on my eyelid. It's okay to have... A very highlighted sparkly kind of brow bone because there's not going to be much else going on in the eye area okay so that's okay doggly I'm just blending out the blush a little bit there all right so next things next is that right? Is that how you say it? Next thing's next. I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler that needs to be replaced. And um, if you're not going to wear lashes, curling your eyelashes is a good way to, um, you know, make your eyelashes more visible. Uh, especially if you have longer straight lashes or whatever you may be having. Then you're going to need a mascara. This is Voluminous Million Lashes. And who is this by? I think it's by L'Oreal. I could definitely be lying to you guys because I don't even know. But it's in the color black, of course. And um, this is how the wand looks. Real fat plastic wand. And I just take, you want to apply the mascara. It's going to really finish things off. And you want to wiggle it at the root. Pull it up and wiggle at the tip. And focus on the outer edges of your lashes to give you that more kind of look. The more, um, you know, more 
the old baby kind of look or whatever you want to go for. If you want to apply um, lashes, you can. That's totally up to you. But uh, I don't ever feel like it, really. Lastly, for the lips, you want to blot off um, the chapstick if it's still heavily applied, which mine is. Just going to use the back of my hands. I'm taking a lip pencil and a NYX lip pencil in the color Ever, which is kind of a nudie kind of pink color. I just take it and use it like a lipstick as I fill in my lip. And from having on the lip line, um, the lip, the The lip balm is gonna act like it don't really wanna go on your lip, but it's gonna go. So I don't worry about that. And I'm just filling in my lips. See? You can leave it as is, but I like a little bit of shine, so I just take a um, pink kind of gloss and put it on top. Mm, excuse me. I like it like that. Um, looking at it on now, it's a little bit, you know. I would put uh, some lip liner on the outside, but that's fine too. That is the finished look, okay? Excuse me. That's the finished look. Aww. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you lots. Bye.